Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. I am still tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It is still in the description below. It is still your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. I am still tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today we're discussing a model launched in 100 pieces for the 2020 model year from Hublot. This is the Big Bang Unico Yellow Sapphire. The entire case, 42 millimeters in diameter, is crafted from almost indelible yellow sapphire. The watch is easy to wear. Feather light, all titanium sapphire and rubber, 42 in diameter, 14.8 millimeters thick, and 52.3 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. This 100 piece limited edition was one of several full sapphire cases made by Hublot, but among the colored cases, this is perhaps the most successful, as all of the others seemed somewhat dilute, like Kool Aid to which too much water had been added. This is a super intense golden saffron that leaps off the wrist. On my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, it has a lot of personality. You can see that the curvature of the lugs, look at how they arc down and around the wrist. This has been a key part of Hublot's ergonomics since the first Big Bang back in 2005. A big watch that wears small. It fits so well on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist. I could actually say that even if your wrist is 14 centimeters circumference, this watch is so light and fits so securely that it's gonna be a good match for you. So 16 here, as small as 14, game on. Now, it will fit under a jacket cuff, but at almost 15 millimeters thick, not the tightest dress sleeves. Taking a quick look at the strap, it almost feels like it might be made of silicone because it's so gummy and soft. It really is incredibly pliant. There are striations and two different planes molded into the top to give it some definition. And on the opposite side, by the way, take note, this is a brand new Hublot factory strap, no crimping, no gouging. We have a combination of titanium and ceramic. And then we have a folding clasp with an Hublot H internally. Twin trigger release, so you have to press both for it to pop open. You take your strap, you tuck it in, you lock it down on these two prongs, and then all the excess length hides underneath the strap so that you don't see it when the watch is sized down on the wrist. It's a very clean look. It also obviates the need for minder loops. So super clean and seamless. And then also secure. Here we have a screw down crown and a 50 meter water resistance rating. So this watch is safe for swimming on the surface. We have a push button quick release on each end. So you push the button, the strap pops out. You can put in a different strap, go with leather, go with rubber, change the color. You can change the look of the watch. You can go with leather if you want to dress it up, really change its character, but it gives you a lot of flexibility and you don't need a tool. Take a look, all these little screws, they actually have an H pattern in them. And more than that, they have differential finish with their upper rim being polished and then their center is being matte. The case is all, all sapphire. You can see straight through it from any angle. You can appreciate the manufacturer Unico 1280 movement. You can see we have uh, chronograph pushers that have a little bit of knurling on their sides and fastening on their ends. There is a rubber crown shoulder. The watch featuring the Unico Caliber 1280 has standard flyback capability, so you can reset and restart without first stopping. That's great for timing events that occur in rapid succession. The dial is entirely open and highly legible. We're going to do a quick loom shot here so you can get a sense. An easy watch to read in the dark. You can even see that the sub-register hands are loomed. Now, it's an open dial with the features such as the numerals floating over the base. You can see we have a 60-minute register for the chronograph over at 3 o'clock. So this is a rare chronograph with a 60-minute register rather than 30 or 45. Now, there is a skeletonized date disc that runs all the way around, and you can see that sits inside of the frame for the minute counter. We have running seconds and a crosshair dial over at 9 o'clock. Now, I pull the crown out all the way. We do have hacking seconds right there or stop seconds. And then you can see that I have a quick set system so I can rapidly cycle that date and then you can see the jumper mechanism as well as the date ring moving around. Uh, taking a quick look at some of the chronograph apparatus, the Utica has always been sort of an inside out or upside down movement in that you can actually see the chronograph works on the dial side. So you can see this incredibly intricate chronograph driving wheel and the lateral clutch right under my finger here. And then you can see the column wheel that controls it. So here's the clutch, here's the function selector. Note that even that has a little H on top of it. Also note that because of the ultra-fine tooth profile of this driving wheel, 
we have a lateral clutch chronograph that starts with zero stagger or jump. It starts as smoothly as a vertical clutch while giving us the beauty of a lateral clutch. It really is the holy grail of chrono clutches. There's a sapphire track outboard for reading minutes and chronograph seconds, and you can see a nickel anthracite coating to the bridges of the movement with polished screws on this side. On the reverse side, you can see why this is called the Unico 2. It's a lot thinner than the original 1240. So this is the 1280. It first debuted in 2018. It's 1.3 millimeters thinner than a standard Unico 1240. 43 joules automatic winding. It's got a 72-hour power reserve. It winds on super efficient unlubricated ceramic bearings. I don't know how well you can see this, but the escapement has no jewels and no lubricants. It is a fully silicon anti-magnetic unlubricated escapement that improves performance, especially in between services when a lubricated escapement can cause watch to start running erratically or losing time. Beats away at four hertz. It says full adjusted, which I take to mean at a minimum five positions of adjustment, like a chronometer would be. And then you can see that there is a Edicron used for fine tuning the timing and the beat. But you can also see that there is a micrometric rack and pinion screw regulator for ultra fine timing adjustments amounting to less than five seconds per 24 hours. And then we have a little Ublo H inside that rack, as well as a, a white-colored Inca block spring to match the grayscale aesthetic of the movement. Really good-looking in-house caliber from Ublo. And the column wheel feel is outstanding. If you love this watch, I actually have to admit I sort of do, reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.